Can you imagine that there are gigantic black holes in space that science theoretically knew existed long before they first saw the dark giants with their own eyes? Until the first photo of a black hole was available, 100 years passed. So hold on tight, we're going to show you a whole new dimension of the black giants in the cosmos. Mysterious Black Holes In 2019, the world's astronomers held their breath. NASA had announced the first real image of a black hole. What had been just a guess or numbers in mathematical equations for almost 100 years became visible to people's eyes for the first time. A black hole of massive proportions at the center of a galaxy. With these images, a very special chapter of astronomy reached an unprecedented climax. So let's go back in time a bit. Stars have been observed by humans ever since we first looked up in the night sky, but never could people of past eras even guess at the wealth of fascinating and mysterious phenomena the cosmos truly holds. Yet, a few astronomers had wondrous knowledge of objects long before they became visible via telescopes. John Mitchell was a British clergyman and avid astronomer. In 1783, as Mitchell looked up at the night sky with a still comparatively simple telescope, he had a vision. John Mitchell suddenly had an idea, or even some unexplainable knowledge, that there might be objects out there in the cosmos so massive that they would bind everything to themselves and devour light. Mitchell called these eerie objects dark stars. Let's take a leap forward. Some 130 years later, German physicist and astronomer Karl Schwarzschild is in the trenches of World War I pondering during lulls in the fire how to solve the unanswered questions of Einstein's field equations. In 1917, the equation suddenly worked out and Karl Schwarzschild published a paper shortly after the war describing a completely collapsed object of immense size. It's really incredible because Schwarzschild could predict even the event horizon of a black hole strictly by mathematical formulas. Strictly speaking, he described a boundary surface behind which the light could not escape from the dark object. In 1931, Indian scientist Subramanian Chandrasekhar added another piece to the puzzle. Chandrasekhar found the limit of gravitational collapse. The astrophysicist showed that stars that exceed a certain mass limit collapse under their own gravitational pull and subsequently form the very completely collapsed objects, or black stars, that we know today as black holes. This limit, from which stars collapse to black holes and not to neutron stars, is named until today after the scientist as the Chandrasekhar limit. The name black hole was not coined until the 1960s when scientists had had enough of calling the still purely theoretical phenomena completely collapsed objects of large size in a somewhat complicated way. In 1963, the time had come. Initially, only one strong X-ray source was identified in the binary star system Cygnus X1. Researchers assumed from the data that Cygnus X1 was a binary star system, but then they discovered what was at first unbelievable. A brightly shining massive star and an invisible companion. The first suspicions arose that the invisible companion could be a black hole. Shortly thereafter, the observation could be confirmed. What Mitchell, Schwarzschild, Einstein, and Chandrasekhar could only guess had suddenly become cosmic. In the 1970s, the incredible discoveries around the black giants continued. Again, it was calculations which brought the researchers to the fact that there must be active galactic nuclei. The reason for the theory was the observation of strong emission sources in the centers of certain galaxies. Active galactic nuclei, or AGN for short, were quickly thereafter associated with black holes. More precisely, researchers assumed that the extreme energy releases could be due to the accretion of matter around supermassive black holes. Since 1994, we have known that there is also a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Again, it was the Event Horizon Telescope that gave us this image of Sagittarius A star at the center of the Milky Way. 
New Observations of Cygnus X1 For decades now, the bizarre double Cygnus X1 has been the focus of scientists, and the strange observations are not abating. For a long time, researchers thought matter was being gobbled up by the black hole from the outer layer of the blue star. As matter falls closer to the black hole, it becomes extremely hot and emits X-rays that can be detected by special telescopes. This is also how the white and black star binaries were found. The signals were first picked up by an X-ray telescope. The discovery of Cygnus X1 was not only a major breakthrough in the search for black holes, it provided researchers with unique observational opportunities of a truly unique double. This close to a star, astronomers were able to do an excellent job of studying the properties of a black hole. Black holes themselves are not visible. They only become perceptible because they affect the matter around them in very specific ways. Thanks to the discovery and observations in Cygnus X1, large parts of Einstein's theory of relativity have finally been confirmed. The more mathematical assumptions are confirmed by real observations, the more certain researchers become that they can unlock the deepest secrets of the universe. In the star system Cygnus X1, researchers saw for the first time with their own eyes how the enormous gravitation of a black hole causes the star to move faster and faster. This effect leads to a Doppler shift of its light, which can be measured to calculate the black hole's mass. Another way to detect the existence of black holes is through gravitational lensing. When light from a distant object passes close to a black hole, the black hole's gravity bends the light. The phenomenon produces a distorted image of the object and can confirm the presence of a black hole. Despite the wealth of information we have already gained about black holes, there is still so much we don't know. Black holes occur in almost as much variety as bright stars. In fact, there may be as many as 400 million black holes in our own Milky Way, and at least 2 billion galaxies in the observable universe have supermassive black holes at their centers. Each of these black holes is unique, with its own unique set of rules and gravitational pull. The smallest black holes have about three to four solar masses, while the largest ones weigh a million times more than our sun. The structure of a black hole. A black hole consists of three layers, the event horizon, the ergosphere, and the singularity. The event horizon is the outermost layer of a black hole, an imaginary boundary marking the point where the escape velocity is greater than the speed of light. Within the event horizon, it's impossible to escape the gravitational effects of the black hole. All objects, including light, are inexorably pulled inward beyond this boundary. The ergosphere surrounds the event horizon. In this region, the black hole spins at such a high speed that even space and time are swept along. Within the ergosphere, it would theoretically be possible to use space-time to extract energy by causing matter to spin. This phenomenon, called the Penrose process, could actually be an inspiration for new energy sources in the distant future. Singularity is the assumed central point of a black hole. Scientists assume that the entire mass of a black hole is concentrated in an infinitely small and dense region. In the singularity, the space-time curvature and gravity are so extreme that the laws of physics as we know them no longer apply there. We don't know exactly yet, because nobody has ever looked into a black hole, and it is more than questionable whether humans will ever be able to do so. A glimmer of hope is provided by Hawking radiation, a minimal light emission in which quanta escape from inside the black hole and then spread out in space. These quanta remain forever entangled with their partners inside the black hole, and so may eventually serve us as valuable sources of information different types of black holes. There are three main types of black holes, stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, and primordial black holes. Stellar black holes are formed when a massive star collapses under its own gravity at the end of its life in a supernova explosion. The mass of the resulting black hole depends on the mass of the original star. 
Stellar black holes typically have masses ranging from a few to tens of solar masses. Supermassive black holes are located at the centers of galaxies and have masses of millions to billions of solar masses. They are thought to be formed by the coalescence of many smaller black holes and are instrumental in the assembly of stars in the form of galaxies. Primordial black holes are hypothesized to have formed in the early stages of the universe, shortly after the Big Bang. They would be the result of density fluctuations in the cosmic background caused by quantum mechanical effects. Primordial black holes would have a wide range of masses, from tiny micro black holes to massive objects. Since the James Webb Space Telescope has been in operation, researchers have discovered very old black holes that were astonishing in size and were already at the center of fixed and very luminous galaxies just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Since then, the theory of primordial black holes has been put to the test, as has the assumption of the Big Bang itself. After the collapse of a star, a rather small black hole is initially formed. But black holes wander through the cosmos in the course of centuries and meet other black holes. Magically, the giants attract each other and can then merge. This fusion releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of gravitational waves, and the black hole that emerges from the fusion subsequently has a much greater mass than the pure sum of the original black holes. So far, researchers have by no means found everything they need to know about the formation and growth processes of black holes and how they affect the existing structures of the cosmos. It will probably take scientists decades or even centuries to find out everything about the mysterious giants in the universe. Meanwhile, new discoveries continue to emerge, leading to new questions. The first direct image of a black hole by the Event Horizon Telescope in 2019 was just a start. Scientists are currently working with an entire network of radio telescopes around the world to discover and image more black holes. The image of the supermassive black hole at the center of galaxy M87 also basically shows not the black hole itself, but the bending of light caused at its event horizon. We can remain curious when science will finally succeed in making black holes directly visible. Perhaps that would be possible through special filtering techniques. What do you think about these real photos of black holes? Do you also think they represent a milestone in the exploration of the cosmos?